see what's gonna happen today. Let's go. It looks like my hotel is located just on the main street on Han Kiai, something like that. One thing which stands out is that Vietnamese people, they don't look on the side. When they drive, they just drive straight. And the main rule is not to hit the one who is in front of you, who is on the side, that's his fault. I've been driving my bike for like 20 minutes and I can see that it's a bit of different mentality of driving. No streets are full of little shops, full of some accessories, necklaces. Vietnamese people are allowed to park their bikes wherever, whenever. They can just drive, park and everything's fine. But if you are from abroad, like foreigners, you are not allowed to park your bike. If you will park your bike, you need to ask permission. Otherwise, police guys can come and just uh, take off your bike. That's the thing. So the same as I see in Nepal, same here in Hanoi. It's just full of fake nerf face. I'm not sure about the quality. Just one word, humidity. A five minutes outside, for me I'm completely done. Humidity is similar to Singaporean one. Not the weather for me, for sure. Hi, sir. No, thank you. Somewhere here, there should be a shop named 91 Stick. There's nothing like that. just unexpectedly came to the market and uh, the yeah, woman was killing frogs she was taking frogs out of the cage and just dropping them on the floor like it looked crazy I mean I don't understand how people can eat frogs but when you just kill like that then no 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 mm, they have a lot a lot of frogs hello yes waiter waiter oh. waiter Go, then I come back, then I take. Wait, wait. And finally, they do no problem. Look at them, they're so huge. I'll definitely come back and take some drug reference for tomorrow. Yes, finally. So, yeah, that's a place close to Don Juan Market, which is just, I guess, it's down there. We are heading towards the street, which is supposed to be a uh, Shoe Street. Here you can find basically everything, starting from fish, fruit, uh, and some other snacks, other stuff. Loads and loads of different stuff. If you are in Vietnam, in Hanoi, and you're planning to go to Shoe Street named Hang Dao, don't go there. Hang Dao is not a Shoe Street. You will see two or three locations, and one of them will be Hang Dao, like the biggest shoe street in Hanoi. Completely not. Like just a normal main road with the buses, cars and a few shops around. Don Juan Market, which is the clothing market, is just close by. So we're gonna head towards that market. I will just double check with Vietnamese guys. How far? So like 5-10. Uh -huh. Thank you. No, actually they say there is a shoe market. You just need to go further the street. Funny helmets. So the helmets. They use these sort of helmets. It's like a plastic cap. Plastic based bow cap. <laughs> I mean Oh, come on, this is not gonna save you from nothing. Almost every single one in Vietnam use these helmets. Another thing, a lot of food. A lot of street food, like so much. Then another thing, 
tiny little chairs. So the size of the chair is like half of my hand until the elbow. That's the size of the chair. You're basically sitting like that. One more thing, which is mentality. It's a bit different mentality. I've never been to China, but it feels like more of a Chinese mentality. So for example, if they're giving you change back from the shop, they're giving it with the both hands, like that. And regards the helmet, just look at this. Look what kind of helmets they wear. Everybody. Every single body. Or without a helmet, or with a helmet like a baseball cap, like this one. Shoe market is not happening on Hangdao. Keep in mind guys, if you're coming to Hanoi, don't go to Hangdao. You will just waste another extra an hour or half an hour. Actually, as closer we are getting to Don Juan Market, we starting to see some shops with the shoes, flip flops, like on my back. And I guess there will be a reason to come to this side of the city, because probably in the market you will see shoes also part of clothing. That's how they do the sauces. Okay. Yeah. Which sauce? Chili? Chili sauce? <laughs> they want to take an image. <laughs> <laughs> and so look where we are. Cho Don Quan Market. So that's the market. Let's see what they have inside. I hope they won't say anything about me filming them. Let's go, let's have a look. Loads of watches, loads of jewelry. Well, it's a favorite thing. So far, I don't see what I need. So many bracelets. Look, look, look. Like, loads, loads of bracelets. Right, we do have some shoes. Let's have a look. Uh, so far, it looks like a heaven for girls, not for me. I won't even going to bother myself walking towards this market. Oh, okay. I might go to the second floor and show you a look. Yeah, but those are mostly women's shoes. That's an Indian guy. You mean on that side? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's mostly women's shoes. Oh, you want to buy? So if you are a girl or if you wanna buy some super unfashioned old school stylish pants for your lovely boyfriend then come to Don Juan Market, you will find loads of things for yourself and you will find some ugly pants for the guys. I mean I don't see anything else here, just for the girls. Nothing much for guys, feels like discrimination boy! So far I'm completely not satisfied with a choice for guys. Yeah, the only things you might see for the guys are those ugly t-shirts. Now I will tell you one more thing. Apparently, every single time I was coming to somebody asking about the shoes or something, they were always saying no sale, no sale. I didn't understood why at first, but then one woman, she actually managed to say it in English. That's a wall sale, guys. And there is no point actually coming to the shop because they sell in wholesale, they don't sell one piece by one piece. Now we will actually move towards the real shoe street, which is close to the lake. 50 and I come tomorrow, okay? Yes? Okay, okay. If anybody knows what kind of this fruit, like just leave the comment down below, because I don't know what's the name of this fruit. Because I'm new in this vlogging, blogging sphere, I'm always forgetting to say that. Put a comment down below how you like it, what should I improve in these vlogs, what should I show and anything was in your mind, everything is for you guys. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel. What's the name? Name? Name. Huh? No, name, name. That's the name of this place. You remember I told you about the little chairs, look. Just look at my hand, that's how small it is. So if you ever will be in Vietnam, you definitely should try street food, 
try to sit on these chairs feel yourself like a local I'm doing that every day not gonna lie it feels amazing I have no idea if they gave it to me for free or not I ordered some passion fruit juice but also asked what's that they said that's tea and I didn't say that I want it but thank you probably something like just mint tea and uh, I ordered passion fruit juice I thought it's a uh, fresh fruit juice but apparently I have seen that they made it from syrup it's very sweet it's very sweet guys I found it I was passing that shop today like five times Okay, this looks more of a shoe street. Let's see what they have here. Let's see. Let's see what they have here. Like this Boston, how much? 500. 500 is like 20 something. And obviously you can get the price of it down. Might look into something like this. They will try to sell every single shoe for 500. These guys have way more Yeezys. So I might find something new. I'll keep in mind that shop because they have a lot of shoes. But this looks good. This looks good. How much is this bag in shop? 600. But you can make 450? 450. 450. Now you okay. You are... 550. Okay. Uh -huh. I will you think. I will think. Them. Yeah. I will think right now, okay? You, Hamar, okay, the cow. <laughs> if something, I come back. I just think. Actually, you can see how easy it is to bargain. I didn't even say anything, uh -huh. I just said 450s. I mean, they look pretty zoid. Like, if you take these knives, they kind of made in Vietnam, originals as well. So they actually look the same. This shop has more of shoes. Brother, how much are Balenciaga? 800. This, but white? No? Triple white? Nothing I would like in particular. Uh, let's have a look at some other shoes. Is it 43? You try. How much you sell 350s for? Sir? Yeah, how much for this? 650. 650. Uh -huh. Those ones actually look pretty sick. How much are they? 700. 700. Yes, because it goes off of it. If you have only one... Uh, okay, I discount. Discount? No. 500? No. Yeah. 650. No, 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 500. Okay. What is your last price? 650. 650? Okay. No, no. 600 minimum. Let's do 550. I mean, I will not give up. I will just, I'm just spending my time looking around for another shoes. Then I might try to pop up again with my 500 price. 580 is lost, yeah? Oh, 580. Okay, 580. Oh. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. So I got the shoes for 580, which is not the price I expected, but it's still cheaper than 700. 580 is like 24 US dollars. That was a tough two hours of explaining what I need, bargaining and trying to reduce the price. Tomorrow we will probably head towards most popular places in Hanoi. So yeah guys, that's about it. Subscribe to the channel, hit that like button and see you in the next one. Yeah, everybody is looking at me because I'm talking to myself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. Thank you boss.